Hey guys, Adam here from Sursum Creative, and today I want to show you guys how to add font awesome icons to your Duda site for free. Now, I will say to start off, uh, before we dive into this, if doing code is just not your jive, uh, even though this is really easy, um, but you just don't want to mess with code at all, uh, or let's say you're not on the due to agency plan or higher, so you don't have access to the developer area, there is another option. Um, for 55 bucks, you can go to the camel and get their font awesome widget, um, which I also have, and it works awesome. Um, so this is an alternative for you if you want to add font awesome icons to your web, your due to website. Now, uh, font awesome, the free version it has 1,588 free icons. Um, if you go pro, you can, um, get 7,842 and they're always adding more. Um, but for right now, we're going to show you how to do this uh, with the free option. So go to fontawesome.com, click on start for free, and this is going to take you to their sign up page. Now, all you need to do uh, here is uh, plug in your email address and then hit send kit code. Um, now, I've already done this and I'm not going to plug in my, my email address here. Um, but what will happen after you do this is you'll get an email and they'll ask you to verify your account and then it'll take you through a quick little sign up process. They'll ask you for your name and a couple other details and then it'll take you in to set up your first font awesome kit um, and give you your custom script. Now what I'm going to do here real quick is pause this and I'm just going to log into my account and show you exactly where we'll pick up from after you go through that process. After you've gone through the sign up process, you're going to end up here on this page where you've created your first font awesome kit. Now, this is super, super easy. You can read through all these instructions if you want, but I'm just going to simplify it for you. All you need to do is grab this script right here and you can just click, click this copy kit code. So that's copied to my clipboard. I'm going to head over to my Duda uh, site editor. Now I spun up this uh, just demo uh, dental site, really kind of a vanilla site, if you will. Now let's say I wanted to add this tooth icon to the left of this spot and the, the header title here. So all I'm going to do is to start off with, I need to add that script to my head area of my site. So you'll go over to your developer area on the site. And now from here, you go to site HTML, CSS, go to your head section. And then all we're going to do is paste that script that we got from font awesome and click save and then close out of here to go back to our main page. Now all we need to do is come over here and grab a HTML widget and we're going to just drop it right in that spot. And what we need to do is find our icon now. So we're going to go back over to font awesome. And what I'm going to do is just so I don't close this out, I'm going to open a new tab here. And now I'm going to search my icons and I want to search for dentist. Now bear in mind, we can only use the free icons right now. So I'm going to go ahead and just filter that down. All right. So this is the one I want. I want to use this tooth. So we'll click on that and it's going to bring you to this page. You can do some customizations and that sort of thing on here. They're a little bit limited on the free version, but ultimately what we want to do here is grab this little HTML script right here. So we're just going to copy that to our clipboard, go back over here. And all we're going to do is paste that now into our HTML widget. Now, as soon as I click update, that tooth icon now appears. Now, obviously um, that may not be the color or the size that we want or the location. So just like with any HTML, you can create a span and add your own customizations. Now, um, I'm not gonna explain all of that. That's HTML school 101. Um, but what I did was I created, I just copied from a, a text editor here, 
um, my own customizations where I added the font size of 48 pixels and color of white to the same icon and then put it inside of a span. And all I'm gonna do is hit update and boom, there we go. So now uh, if I wanted to move this, you know, you can customize that, uh, use your spacing. There may be other ways that you wanna do this as well. Uh, but let's say we wanna move that over and down just a bit um, and there we go. So now we have that icon on our site. Now you can use this anywhere you want. You can drop an HTML widget and you can grab uh, any font awesome icon you want to be able to add anywhere in your site now. So there you go, guys. That's all there is to it. Um, hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, that this was helpful.